hello guys welcome to the opl assignment video series so today we will discuss group b assignment that is for file handling we will do the file input output operations in this assignment so first of all we will discuss about the file concept so what is meant by file so file is just a storage medium for storing data or information so file in the file it is using streams for storing the data in, in in the sequence of bytes then it stores your data that is text or binary data permanently and use this data to read or write in the form of input output operations by transferring bytes of data okay so this data is transferred in the form of streams that is nothing but a sequence of bytes and so we use the term because of that we use the term that is file streams or file handling here so for performing the file operations here in c++ program we have to use here header file that is AppStream. there are three types of uh, file streams in c++ that is of stream that is output file stream it is generally used for writing in files okay then there is again second that is if stream that is input file stream that is generally used for reading from files and the third type is app stream that is file stream that is used for uh, reading from files and write to files so these are the three types of file streams then the operations are involved in file handling that is open for creating a file read for reading the data from the file then write writing new data and then close for finally closing the file so let's just we will see the syntax uh, when we want to create or open a file what can we do so we have to use we can you uh, do both ways there are two ways you can choose either or so first that is you can use here you can see app stream class you can use and it's pointer you can create here okay it's a reference you can create here and with the help of that reference or that object you can call the open function and this open function in this open function you have to pass the path to that file or the file name and then you have to provide the input output stream mode here so uh, that is one option the, that uh, with the help of that you can create or open a file second option is uh, uh, that is you can use of stream for outputs of uh, file and for input uh, if stream for input file stream and again you can use its uh, your object uh, or reference you can say and there you have to pass the again the same thing that is file name that is part to file and then iOS mode input output stream mode so what are the output input output stream modes so there are four types of input output stream modes that is in for input out for output and app for append and then trunk for truncating so that that depends upon your operation if you are going for input of uh, uh, input uh, if you are using that file for input purpose then you can use in mode input output stream mode if you are using it for output purpose mode then you can go for if you are creating a file that time you can use ios out for that type of operation so this is about your file and file handling now we'll come to our uh, program now for writing this program you have to first draw the class diagram okay so i have uh, drawn the class diagram already here so the class name will be my my class name will be file and this class will have two member variables that is file name because i want every file is associated with a name and with the information or content so i will use file name member variable of string type and then info variable or member variable of string type here which will have the private access specifier then i will use three uh, member functions so first member function is get file name of string return type which will help me to take the file name as an input then i'll use file create we have to use file create a uh, member function which will pass the f name variable of string type here which will have void return type so it generally reads the content of the uh, it generally creates the file and then writes the information on the file the third member function is file read which is again having the parameter that is file name of string type 
and then it is having void return type so it is used for reading the content of the file so this is about your our class diagram for this program now we'll start our coding so i'll open code blocks id so this is our problem statement that is write a c plus plus program that creates an output file writes information to it closes the open uh, the file closes the file and open it again as an input file and read the information from the file so according to our class diagram i have used first io stream header file that is required for input output stream and then we need f stream header file so that is used for file handling file operations so i have included here then after that the class diagram is now implemented here that is i have define a file class and in that file class file name and info these two member variables are already declared then get file name string type or uh, return type function member function is here again declared file create is a uh, create is declared and file read is declared here okay so all these are declared here so one thing i will do here that is i'll just define this get file na file name itself here okay so i'll define it here directly okay so in this i want to take the file name so i am having the file name string variable here member variable i i want to take the input with the help of this member variable so i'll display here c out enter file name and then with help of get line that we know that it is having it is a string variable i'll use get line here or you can use scene also uh, if you are using spaces then you'll go for a better way you uh, will use the but we don't want to use okay uh, spaces here so better way we can go for scene here so i'll use c in and then will use one thing that is file name okay so that input we have taken here with the help of file name and then uh, i will return the file name value here okay file name variable here because finally i will call this function in my main function okay so this is about my get file name where i am taking the uh, file name only i have just i just want the file name that i have taken here with help of get file name member function okay so now we will go for the another member function that is file create so that i will define outside the class i will write void return type then class name then scope resolution operator and then my function name that is file create so it it needs parameter okay so it takes parameter so i'll just want to one thing i'll do i'll i'll remove this okay i'll, I'll copy and paste this here and it is not needed here now okay then use it here okay so in this function i want to do what i want to create a file and then i want to write the content now so how can i create the file okay so i told told you that we can use the of stream class uh, sorry of stream class we can use and also we can use of stream class for creating a file so better way will do one thing here so i'll use of stream class okay so with the help of this of stream class i'll create one object here so i'll create one object that is i'll use ost okay and in bracket i will write the two parameters one parameter will be my file name so already i'm having file name here f uh, with the help of f name and the second parameter will be my ios mode that is this is i am going to use for output purpose so i'll use ios out okay so here i got the ost okay so the reference of this or uh, the result of this file created or not is now in ost object so i'll do what i'll now check whether my file is created or not so i'll use if condition and then not ost so if it is not created it, it will return null okay it will return false and there i'll print file 
creation failed. I'll display this. Okay, so this I'll display and then the else block I will try to now if it is created then I'll try to write the content here. So but, but before that I'll display file created successfully. I'll display this there. Now after this I want to write the content now. I'll I have displayed if it is false then it will display file creation fail. If it is true means file is created that time it will display file created successfully. This after this I will do one thing that is I want to write the content but I want to write multiple content multiple lines I want to uh, right here okay so for that purpose i'll declare one variable here ch because i want to do i want to ask user whether he wants to enter the more data or not so that i can do with the help of do while here so i'll write do while loop and this do while loop i will check whether user is entering s or no so i'll check it here okay so that i'll check it and inside this i will write the statement that is see out enter the information so this i'll write there and then i will use i'll use the get line function that we know and in get line i'll use first that is seeing object and then second my info variable that i am i have already declared in my class uh, that is my member variable info so because in, in that info through that info i am going to take the input so i'll use that here so it will have it will have the spaces there generally so because of that i am using here get line function which will accept which will allow the blank spaces also okay so after that i'll ask user whether he wants to oh uh, after that i want to write this on my file so already i'm having the ost reference there of of stream class object uh, ost object of my of stream class so i'll use that here ost and then extraction operator uh, sorry i'll use insertion operator there for writing it and then i'll write what i want to write i want to write info right now so in info i am having the uh, the, uh, the content and after that i'll again write new line character so that next on next line the next uh, next content will be written so that uh, then i'll ask for the user that that, that is whether he want to uh, whether want to continue whether want to enter more okay so this i will ask to the user yes or no i'll ask user so that time user will enter user will enter but here i'll use scene dot get and i'll take the input ch to avoid some other things i will use get function here better way and then next again i will use get here why to use get here because after this I, again i am going to take input of string and uh, because it will again return back here and it will again ask for the information so there i am asking for again string with the blank spaces so that time it will create the problem so to handle the blank spaces here before uh, this uh, contained before this information i'll handle the blank space blank space the help of this get function here okay so that we have done here now we'll go for next thing that is outside this two while i'll do one thing that is i will close the file so uh, now i am having ost so i'll i'll call the close function here because now my file has been uh, i have opened the file with the web stream i have opened it here i have created it i have already opened it then i have written the data information with the help of this object again here and then insertion operator and finally after the use of that file i'll better way i should close it so i have closed it here okay so the next function that we have defined that is file create 
now the third function we want to define now that is for reading okay so i'll write void the class name is file then scope resolution operator and then file read is the name of my function it is again having the parameter that is f name because it requires file name also so i'll go back here and in my function uh, in my member function declaration i'll remove this I'll just keep the data type there because it is required only there so here in file read i want to take first the uh, already i'm taking the file name here okay so but i want to read the lines here because all the lines will be uh, will be stored in my that file okay so i want to read those files so better way i'll do one thing i'll use one i will declare one line variable because i will store those lines in my this line variable so string variable will be there okay that line so after that i need one class that already i discussed i told you that is our f stream we can use or we can use f stream and then we can use its reference and we can call open function there okay so i'll use if stream and for this i i will use ist and in bracket i'll write the f name the re file reference uh, file reference here file path and then i will use ios mode so now i'm using it for input purpose so i'll use in mode here that is input mode ios mode that i will use and again i will check if the file is present or not if the ist is null that time it will return false okay and here i'll display file is not present okay so i'll display this there for user information if it is not present there okay so else i will else i will write uh, the content of that file so i'll display c out slash n file name i'll display first file name here so um, i got that with the help of f name here okay and then i have to access the content now so i'll display c out again slash n and then entered information entered information of the file that i will display here again i'll use slash here and at this time i will use while loop now so in while loop i will use the reference that is ist dot eof i'll check whether my file is having end of end or not so that i can check with the help of eof function by calling the eof function so that i will check if it is not having the end of file then it will ask uh, it will access the lines with the help of get line from which location it will access it will access access it for, from ist that is my from input file stream okay that is the object of my input file stream so it will be accessed from that input file stream that is ist comma i will store it into line variable that already i have declared there okay so this i will do and then i will display again i'll display the line here and every line will be on new line so i'll use again escape sequence character backslash n so this i will do and after this now my read task has been finished so finally i will close my the input file stream so if uh, ist dot close function i'll call here so we have done with the our two or three major functions that is get file name where we have taken the file name then file create where we have created a file and then we have written the content in file read we have uh, we have taken the file name we have searched the file and after that we found it then we have displayed the content here okay so now we'll go further for main function now so in main function what we have to do that we will see okay so first of all we will create the 
object of file class that is the most important thing that we know and then after that i'll define i'll declare a function oh sorry i'll declare a variable that is f name i need a f name variable because i have to call get a file name function which will return a file name value that i want to store in this folder okay oh sorry in this uh, variable so right now i want menu driven program so i will use infinite loop now so i'll use one or you can say you can use two also here so i'll use infinite loop and in this infinite loop i'll first take the choice integer choice i'll take and i'll use c out and here i'll write file menu this i will write here and on the next line i'll use first menu that is create file on the next line okay so i need here on new lines i'll use new line character everywhere so again the third thing that we want to do that is next option we have to create so i'll use next option read file next option i will use then again slash n and then three exit okay so this i have done and now after that i will print enter your choice okay this time okay and after this i will take the input of choice through the keyboard okay so then we will use switch statement in switch i will match my choice with the cases i will define case 1 now okay so in case 1 what i want to do that is i want to create a file so for creating a file i need what i need i want to take the input here okay so i want to take input of file first file name okay so i'll call the function with the help of get file name function with the help of f object now so i'll use get file name this i have called so i will get the file name right now and then i'll call the file create function with the help of f object and then i'll give the input that is i will pass the parameter f name here so this way i have done my case one now i will give a break statement here okay now case two so in case two again i want to do i want to read file so i will use again f name is equal to f dot get file name i will call the same function here i will use the same variable here then with the help of f object again i'll re, uh, i'll call the file read okay i'll call the file read now this i will call and f name this parameter i will pass for getting the file name okay and then break i will use here now case 3 in case 3 i will i have to do what exit so i'll write exit function and i'll write exit zero parameter so yeah so that it, it will terminate my program and now finally i'll use default case if i enter invalid input invalid option it will display invalid option okay so this i have done with the switch case okay so one thing that we want to do here that is after this choice we have to use call get function because again we will we are going to take the string input with the blank spaces so in order to avoid the blank space which will be generated here after entering choice that we can handle with the help of this get function here okay blank get function okay so then after this I'll write uh, I have done with my everything now okay so return 0 now. so now we'll compile it I'll compile this program now okay so compiled successfully no problem occurred okay now I'll run it 
so it is asking okay now it is executing properly so file menu create file read file and exit so i'll enter my choice one so it is asking for file name so i'll create a file suppose i'll create a file of student dot txt okay then i'll enter so now enter the information and directly it is going for whether i uh, want to enter more yes or no so here one problem is occurring that we have to handle now okay so that is enter the information so we have to handle this problem with the help of this kit we have handled So we will do one thing here. Better we will use here get line and we'll pass this get line to this. Okay. So I'll change this enter file name. Okay. This I'll change now. Okay. And I'll run it. Get file student.txt now file created successfully and then it is asking for enter the information so i'll enter suppose name my name i will enter here and now it is asking for whether we want to enter more i'll press enter okay it is again asking for enter the information so i'll uh, enter here suppose age suppose 28 then again it uh, i'll press enter it is again asking for whether we want to enter more i'll press it yes okay and now this time i will enter address and that is i'll address the link of property okay so then i will press enter again it, it is asking for if you want to continue or if you want more lines so i'll press no right now so it is okay now the file has been created okay so the content has been written on that file now i'll read this file with the uh, with the help of second option second menu so i'll enter two two choice here now it is asking for again file name so what is my file name that is student.txt now you can see it is showing the details of file that is file name is student.txt and then entered information is name Santosh Nagar Goche age 28 and address everything okay so this way you can do the program for file input output okay now I'll phrase third option and I'll check okay I'll check whether I uh, if I enter four it is showing invalid option i will enter three now it is terminating so this is about your assignment group b assignment that is for file input output so thank you for watching my video if you are having any doubt about this assignment you can post your your doubts your questions in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe my channel share my channel with your friends so that they will get these nice videos for understanding the practical assignments so once again thank you for watching my video bye bye